spotted online. This is the walkway used by the astronauts to climb in the vehicle, and that arm can be put back in place within about 15 to 20 seconds if an emergency should arise. Coming up on the seven minute point in the countdown. T minus seven minutes and counting. The next major step will be when uh, pilot Mike Smith is given a go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start. T minus six minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Coming up on the six minute PLT point in our PLT countdown. T minus six minutes, and uh, orbiter test conductor has given pilot Mike Smith a go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre start. Uh, Mike has reported back that it's in work. Uh, he will configure switches in the cockpit to put the auxiliary power units in the ready to start PLT configuration. Uh, Mike Smith reporting that pre-start is complete. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting, and Mission Control has transmitted the signal to start the onboard flight recorders. The two recorders will collect measurements of shuttle system performance during flight to be played back after the mission. Coming up on the five minute point, this is a major milestone where we go for auxiliary power unit start. T minus five minutes. You must go for orbiter APU start. TLT, OTC, perform APU start. And we've had the pilot uh, ordered to perform the APU restart. Uh, LOX replenish has been terminated and liquid oxygen drain back has been initiated. Pilot Mike Smith now flipping the three switches in the cockpit to start each of the three auxiliary power units. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The solid rocket booster and external uh, safe and arm devices have been armed. We've had a report back from Mike Smith that we have three good auxiliary power units. Main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for engine start. T minus four minutes and counting. The flight crew has been reminded to close their airtight visors on their launch and entry helmets, and a final purge sequence of the main engines is underway. Three, T minus three minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The orbiter aerosurface test has started. Uh, the orbiter flight control surfaces are now being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify that they are ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Orbiter ground support equipment power bus has been turned off and the vehicle is now on internal power. T minus three minutes, 15 seconds. Aerosurface checks are complete and aerosurfaces in launch configuration. Gimbal checks of the orbiter's main engines now underway. T minus three minutes and counting. Gimbal checks now complete. You must go for ET yellow two pressurization. External tank liquid oxygen pressurization is started and purging of the shuttle main engines is terminated. T minus two minutes, 44 seconds and counting. Retraction is started of the gaseous oxygen vent hood. And the ground launch sequencer will make a final check to make sure the vent arm is fully retracted at T minus 37 seconds. OTC, PLT, uh, caution warning, memory's cleared, I expect it errors. Copy that, thank you. 
topic. T minus two minutes and 20 seconds. And we've had uh, the pilot, Mike Smith, has cleared the caution and memory uh, system. No unexpected errors reported. Liquid oxygen ullage pressure checks are underway and the liquid oxygen tank approaching flight pressure. T minus two minutes and counting. The liquid hydrogen replenish has been terminated and liquid hydrogen pressurization to flight level is underway. The vehicle is now isolated from all ground propellant and fluid loading equipment. T minus one minute, 44 seconds and counting. coming up on the 90-second point in our countdown. 90 seconds in counting. The 51L mission ready to go. The liquid hydrogen tank now at flight pressure and all three engines ready to go. Coming up on the one minute point in our countdown. T minus one minute and counting. Sound suppression water system now armed. The hydrogen burn igniters have been armed. These igniters will be fired at T minus 10 seconds to burn off any residual hydrogen gas. T minus 45 seconds and counting. The solid rocket booster flight instrumentation recorders have gone into the record mode. Coming up on the 32nd point in our countdown. T minus 30 seconds, sequence. and we've had a go for auto sequence start. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. T minus 21 seconds, and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, are running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. Seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink.
We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. Contingency procedures are in effect. Uh,